They thought I'd never come back. They thought I'd never come back and do another reaction video. Honestly, I never thought I'd be back doing another reaction video, but I saw your guys' DMs, I saw your comments, and I've been hearing from a lot of trusted sources that uh, our goat is back. Our goat is back in full form on this one. <laughs> On a serious note though, I actually didn't think that I was going to be doing any more reaction videos again. I felt like I had kind of grown out of um, this channel and doing reaction videos in general. Since I posted my last video 10 months ago, um, I've moved to a new city, started a new job. I got off my second tour with Eric DOA where I actually got to meet some of you guys, which was amazing. Shout out to Coda. There's just been a lot of other projects, a lot of other focuses in my life that have been kind of leading me away from kind of doing the YouTube thing. If you're interested at all in seeing a recap of that tour with my little, you know, spin on it um, or following my future artistic endeavors, you can click on the link in the description um, and subscribe to my new channel, Isofairy. That being said, all of your guys' DMs over the last few days asking me to do reactions to this video actually does really mean a lot to me that you guys still care about my opinion and want to enjoy this album along with me. I really am thankful for you guys. But also this new Blade album kind of means a lot to me, not only because it's like an exciting, huge 30 track new album from Blade, but actually because two of my friends in real life have production credits on this album. I know that if they ever watch this video, they're gonna find it insanely embarrassing that I'm probably gonna be, you know, jumping around getting excited to their music. But that's another big reason kind of for my absence from YouTube. As I've gotten deeper kind of into the job that I have working with artists, I'm actually starting to come into contact with people who are or are working with people that I've been, you know, a huge fan of since I was like, 17. It's given me a very different perspective about doing reactions kind of to music and having my face be out there in that way when I've become a lot more passionate about other sides kind of of music. But I do owe almost everything that I'm doing in my real life to this channel and to you guys, the Blade fans that really uh, gave me an audience at all in the first place. So I figured, you know what, let's Let's run it back one more time, man. I've been hearing so many good things about this album and I think it would be so much fun to kind of enjoy it, celebrate my friend's work on it, and just enjoy a Blade album with you guys uh, for old time's sake. I think without further ado, we should just send it. I watched the video to the intro. I haven't heard anything else from the album. I decided that was okay, kind of to, you know, get the feelers out and then I'll do the rest live on camera. Let's get started. Blade, Cold Visions. Wake up, filthy. Again, I have heard this one. Not many brain cells left, but I'm ready for this. Come on, we're back, bro. We're back. <laughs> One of my favorite things about this song actually is that cold ad lib. I was thinking about a couple weeks ago how interesting it would be if there's kind of the classic move to just cut the beat right before um, it comes back in to kind of build some tension. And I was thinking about how cool it would be if instead of just cutting volume on the beat or adding like a reverb like background vocal, if the vocals literally became like worse quality, like instead of whatever 320 kilobits per second, like whatever the, the crap version of that is, and playing kind of with like actual audio quality. I know like Yabu Jin and whatever and a ton of like breakcore people have done that, but I think it's a very interesting thing to do like in rap. But anyways, we got 30 songs, bro. So I'm just gonna skip right past that one again. I've heard it, I've heard it before and I think I'm just gonna let the project play. So let's go into <laughs> working on dying drainer. Wow, man, we're really back. Bishots. I'm working on dying. I like that. Must be nice. Dirty ass these pack backpack. Got money in the trash bag. I bought a thousand smirks on the eBay. I was on shrooms, needless to say. On ranking. Yeah, so I didn't know what to expect. I knew everyone was geeking about this album, but I didn't know that we were gonna get raps uh, in this way. I thought it'd be closer to Fool. Although this beat does remind me of um, Walk the Promise Road. I can't take a joke. Must be nice. Dirty ass these pack backpack. Got money in the trash bag. I bought a thousand smurfs on eBay. I was on so I'm in the airport. Fast track. Say love me, elaborate on that. Say nothing, I'm even beyond that. No fell love that this is the comeback. Hang out for a copy on the last one. We've been in that, put in the trash, we've been in that. Let's leave it at that. Fire. Can't catch up with us, can't catch me. Sleep is the one time I'm happy. But even sometimes it's nightmare. I feel like there's someone else there. Yeah. I'm waiting for I'm in this beauty pageant, and everybody's laughing. <laughs> At the end of the day, that's the thing, right? I know everyone is a little excited on the surface level of being like, oh, Evil Blade is back, whatever that means. Which sonically, obviously, this is definitely a different turn from, I mean, like, Crest. But, uh, you know, this darkness is always within Blade. I mean, the amazing thing that we've always loved is you can start a song with something that seems so crazy. I bought a thousand Smurfs on eBay because I was off shrooms, needless to say. But then you also have just extremely poignant, actually well-written and 
fun lines. I'm in a beauty pageant, everyone's laughing. Sleep's the only time that I'm happy. Real good lyrics. And I think that's the biggest thing that I'll continue to say for however long I keep talking about Blade on the internet. Thing about this, which I think almost everyone has come around to now, is that like, it's literally good. And there's many, many ways in which that is on display here from the flow that's kind of offbeat, but not offbeat, really clever and funny lines, finding a really cool note within the beat to be rapping on. It's an underrated thing about rapping that people I, I don't think even consider sometimes. I, I came back from my heart and I, we're equal, let's pretend that I'm pressing teeny to my back. Sharp as toes, I'm on this hand, some me vocal, some me disguise. Thought it was so wrong, bye. Thought I would quit, I yeah. can. Wow. Working on dying too. Thought I was lying, it's true. I'm stuck in this blue. I'm the one that's sick, but blessed out your excuse. No. Yeah. Crazy transitions, but I have to pause it. And the reason being, Young Sherman featuring Young Sherman is produced by Filthy Young Sherman and my boy Glass here, bruh. Let's give it up for the homie, man. Shout out to John. Every night I get that cold. It's like when you think your phone's it's like falling, but there's no limit. It's like a hood with a hole in it. My arm and going high speed. I'm in Miami doing tai chi. I'm in the forest with a high pool of white night like a high speed. We know all my life. So much that I look out of it. Keep your pedestal and price. I wanna get in the fight. I can't work out what's your vibe, but I do feel I'm above it. To be honest, I don't love it. Running to it, running, running, running. running. Wow. That's legendary. I'm sorry, I'm running that back. I didn't even hear that bumping for from first to last. Shout out Skrillex. I never will see you again. Wow. I hope you understand. This is like crazy. That's fire. Obviously, I'm aware and I can tell that this is going to be mostly high energy, filthy beats. So I'm not going to be dive deeply into whatever the themes and everything, at least on first listen. That being said, Things I'm noticing already that I'm loving. There has been the kind of resurgence, I feel like, of Blade's kind of weak, higher-pitched voice. <laughs> Sounds like a frail man going to give you a quest. <laughs> but like I was saying about the sound quality, there's also a lot going on here. Um, paying attention to the ad-libs and the vocal doubling and things like that that are really focused on kind of the texture of Blade's voice. It is a meek, quiet kind of performance. You know, if you actually think about how to produce the sounds of this, he's like this close to the mic and he's going, I really wish that I was here. It's not like speaking or, or singing like this in, a, in the same way. And I feel like that is what's giving this such a cool texture and sound where those doubles come in, how much sound effects are, how much world there still is, even when we're not doing crest, you know, magic world type of vibe. So I don't know, something to pay attention to as we as we keep going through these. Great hook. Like, that's what I'm saying. Listen to how weird that sounds, dude. It's like, yeah, it's far away in reverb, but it sounds like it's like a Silent Hill 2 voice memo box. So sick. I love the backing. So cool. Crazy. Yo, where you at? Yo, bro. I meant to stop, man. I just... Oh, 
sounds like a K-pop hook, bro. One second, get into my car. Two seconds, I pull up. Three seconds, I feel the rush. Four seconds for it to start. Five seconds, I'm in my bag. In my bag, we take off. In my bag, in my make the call. In the airport, one second. On the flight, the next second. Got a call, just wait a second. Touch back, you're overstepping. Headphones on, and leave me be. One second, wow, we got beats one second. Like back to the club with the mean girl stepping. Oh my god. McDonald's got the sad meal. Oh my god. Y'all can't see this right now, but oh my god. I didn't know he still got me like that, bro. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know it could still be like this, man. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like I had I, I didn't even do that in like the fool because that was like bright and dancy and whatever. This is cr some crazy. I'm running it back, bro. Here we go. Shout out my dog. Fans, leave you stranded out in council. Have you asked him for a advil? Have you signed up for a bad deal? I make Donald's got the sad meal. You talk him down. Silly shoes is not new balance. CNGS don't get sad. Every day it's just another Monday morning. Every day it's a way. Awake, I wanted to go back to sleep. I can't because the rain. Heavy rain falling forever on the everlasting bike. Heavy hammers in the right thing. Produce glass here, bro. Bro. Oh my. Filthy glass here, James Ferraro. If you don't know how legendary that is, find out. Full speed, make the city bleed, smoking dirty weed. Over, going fashion week, walking the supreme. God, the sound effects. <laughs> oh my God, we won! <laughs> yes! Oh my God, I'm a lead in the Gucci store. It's like breathing air. Oh my God! By the Gucci store, it's like breathing air. Man on twister, we spin around like the phone. Like I'm blade running with a hundred racks It's the return of the Batman And because I love it, eat out of our hands We done changed up the whole game Put it in a chokehold I know you wanna be us But we are just some weirdos Two old heroes stuck up in this folklore I wrote so many hits I should have my own barcode Yuppie on a yacht, hair gel all on my polo Lean dude, blader, you know this is no joke 20 on the guest list, but I don't know those Wow. Oh my god, Let stop. Me speak. <laughs>
I think I'm hurting my ears. I don't know, dude. I don't know if I'm being crazy, but that young lean verse, bro, they have not rapped like that in a, lo a long time, if not ever. I can't believe we got 30 songs, dude. Sport man, stepping on the court, man. You're watching YouTube shorts. I'm very far from regular. You have to sleep tired. So fire! All these clowns, man. I truly am the Joker. Triple cross. Yes. Feel us filled with flowers. And this day's so very sour. You might think that you know, but I'll truly show you power. I can see you in the night. So fire! God damn it. Same thing with the vocal performance earlier. You have to, like, he's rapping like this. I look crazy. No one is doing that. Still, 10 years in the game, bro. He's 30. Listen to this vocal performance. Wow. Wow. Guys, I wouldn't be like this if it wasn't some real... Dude, like, it's ba- it's- we're back. Oh my god, man, what's gonna happen? Oh. <laughs> Real spill. <laughs> Yo, shout out Eric DOA, man. Follow Eric DOA, uh, Eric DOA on Twitch, man. Really created a sweet please excuse me. Damn. Maybe I'm for being depressed. That's best. I don't like people. I don't like people. First things first is the part where it gets worse. Hidden where it hurts. I suffer from worse. I gotta be honest with you guys, I have been spoiled on some things. Not that one, for example. I didn't read them, but it's like shit just pops up in my Twitter feed. I've seen that people are saying that apparently on the outro of this Blade says he considered it being his last album. I'm not trying to go Taylor Swift mode, but I love the fan service, bro. It's so lit. I love the references and repeating lines and it doesn't really feel as like much of a culmination it does feel like this very monstrous kind of explosion you know of these raps and everything but as a fan i mean come on this is lit hey people what i gotta talk to you for i don't leave the house stay in my crib like a newborn i can play crushing up the kid can't be put in these the box. beats are psychotic latest, don't care what you got put this way to our names like we're dark school light i'm gonna make you hurt play say he make you bleed green <laughs> God, I thought it was gonna be the first one I don't like. Jesus Christ. I believe in face and not my fault. That's the I walk with destiny. I'm coming out clean, saying my God. Demons in my life, I can't, 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 can't. I get the Bible on my neck. I get to where we're at, you gotta read between the lines. 
evil on the shore, you gotta give me the line I'm fucking yeah. to the sci-fi oh, guy Something about playing in faith, I'm blind Something about love, I'm blind I'm Reality blind. surf might break my mind oh, Baby, don't my. waste my time Somebody call the ambulance, man. Yo, the track came in alive. Wait, uh, 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 uh. Get out, can't get out of my head. I can't get my head out. I can't get out of dreams. Don't give up on it. The trolls fund the ice, carrots, bugs, but I'm shining like a lucky charm. Fighting on a lucky star. Dude, I love the imagery that's back in this album. Like, I mean, that's always a drain gang. Thing, obviously, but I think it's kind of been brought back a little bit of that like weird Bugs Bunny smoking weed type of vibe like Obviously, it's not exactly that but I love the like, you know, the high school uh, Trust fund ice wishing on a lucky charm type vibe like it just I sound stupid I probably look stupid in this video, but like man, dude, it's just bad. Like if you, if you know it's bad I like this one. I don't love this one. Wow, seriously a beautiful song. I actually love, like, the rhyme scheme is so simple. You know what I mean? Feeling you have this way, feeling this way, feeling this way, feeling this way, because you have to do this, you feel this. Maybe you can do this, maybe you can do this. You have to do, like, that repetition is so powerful, I feel like. And also, I'm noticing a shift in the second half. Feels like we got filthy tracks like one through 13, and now we're kind of getting the Lucy, Rip Squad, Skrillex kind of vibe, which is like a lighter, more like motivational, inspirational vibe. So I'm curious if that's how the rest of this album will go, or if it's just for these few songs. I'm also probably gonna start reading the lyrics. Again, love all the sound effects, vocal layers, everything I feel like has been actually very effective in the world building. Wow. Dude, this is getting so good. I'm sorry that I'm looking this way and reading the lyrics, but like, seriously, I love how confrontational. Do like we do, cold vision, bleeding. 
Ring gang CEO, man, his blood sweat and tears First class for the bitch, this man rings from my house This is us, there's no one else Sad story I can't tell G-Blady, king of the frozen throne, cold vision Dude, yes sir Dude, we're, <laughs> we're back, bro It's like we're back, but we're also at the peak that we've never reached before. This is some triumphant, amazing, amazing stuff right now. Terrible, excellence, got the service in my section. Divine intervention, waiting for my resurrection. Listen, boys, make it hit. I got it, I got it. This life, Chucky, the voice, lucky. The charms on me shine, lucky. I haven't slept for a week. I can't sleep, I'm having anxiety. I can't breathe, I can't sleep. I'm staring at the gray ceiling. Serpents in a section make you wanna run I don't wanna write another sad song But there's so much to come uh. I rock with that Dude, how many more? Okay, the next one is also my friend, Align Mochila on production with James Farrar, bro. Like, it doesn't get crazier than that in your life. So excuse me if I pog, but shout out to these amazing people. What really is striking about listening to this is there's so much, we're the best, no one's done it like us, stick in the family, triumphant, even though it's very dark, obviously, in a lot of places. But the thing is, like, they're literally right, you know? It's like the underground, especially right now, it's like people are on a two-month turnaround, right? Except for, like, maybe Xavier, maybe Cemetery, if you still count that. Like, they were that new, no one had ever heard about it, futuristic underground sound. And 10 years later, it's still the best music. Like, you can rock with a lot of the new stuff. I do. But like, there really hasn't been a new shift, like a new crew, a new anything that has reached the heights that they have. It's like when they brag about it, it's like they're being dead ass. Like, and I think that's what's just still, it's so crazy to me. Smoach, let's go. Glory like what's 
always traffic burning, not rapping with my exchange Kids are phony matching, then this place is high enough Oh my god! I'm gonna be on side by my body rotting This surprise of being rotting One day when I'm just a body They will act like we were bodies in prison That's how this time was going I've been part of my dream, and so. Jesus! Dude, it's such an assault, man. All the sound effects, the crazy flows, these beats, dude. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Solid at the summit. Oh my god, what the f do they know about this, bro? Dude, oh my god, that's the best song ever. Everyone's against me, I don't know. I shoot to the same I don't know. I would never let you go. Hopelessness, hopelessness. Doing. I'm normal in the club dress formal. 
This is like the best. Emporio Armand. Emporio Armani. Emporio Armand. Emporio Armand. Emporio Armand. Emporio Armand. Another reason that I kind of wasn't going to do this, and maybe shouldn't have, because I've been jumping around like a goofball. I don't fuck with the way Drain Gang fans act. I don't know if I've said this on the channel. I met Echo at a club two years ago now. I remember being like, that being a moment where I was like, I should quit doing this because they're re like real, you know what I mean? I try my best to actually think about what's going on. This is a hype album, so it's been jumping around, it's been whatever, but it it kind of is like, yo, there are people making art and there's so many whack jokes and whack stuff. And the more I've worked with artists, it's like, sometimes they don't see it, but like sometimes they do see it. And it's like, it's art that's so clearly meant to be taken very seriously, right? And I've always wondered what they've kind of thought about, you know, this type of vibe. There's no conclusion there, I realized, I just said, but like, I'm glad he said that because I feel like there is a necessity a little bit with some of this stuff to be like, yo, these are humans who can see potentially what you say and how you act at shows and maybe what you say to them and what you do, like, it's all, it all exists. And that's like a very important part of this. This is a very, we've never, I feel like had a song like this from Blake. Tell me when to quit, if this not it, then it is what it is. It is, it is what it is. There will be no more what it is. Wow. Find another reason to quit. Such a good quit. song. So, so, whatever, the man. Don't feel the whatever, man. man. The vicious soul. Shut up. Wow. There's no way it's the last one. But also. 
so that's a very impactful track. There you have it. And I got to say, I think um, that was crazy. Triumphant, dark, scary, strong. Some of the craziest fan service moments for us, but also some of the most biggest stiff arms to the fans, I guess. Uh, super fascinating album. I loved it. And I can't wait to listen to it again. I love how it flows. It feels like a DJ set, dude. It's just like every transition. We got blessed with... 30 songs like it's crazy um let me know what you guys think in the comments below thanks again for sticking around with all your interest for this long um and i'll see you guys around i mean i don't yeah i don't know if it's the next video here but elsewhere um i'll be out there if there's a tour for this see you there but yeah thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it catch up